Open Heavens on the Go. Sunday, April 4th, 2021. Topic, the efficacy of the anointing. Memory verse, Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Acts 10, 38. Bible reading, John 9, 1-7. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can walk. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, and he said unto him, Go. Wash in the pool of Siloah, which is by interpretation, sent. He went his way, therefore, and washed, and came seen. The message. There is power in the anointing. It makes the carrier do what is ordinarily humanly impossible. From the memory verse of today, you will see that Jesus was only able to achieve all he did because of the anointing. No wonder one of his divine titles is Christ the Anointed. Jesus performed miracles through the anointing. For example, in John 9, he produced brand new eyes for a young man who had been blind from birth. The good thing is that he wants us, believers, to do greater works than he did. John 14, 12. That is why he promised to send the Holy Ghost, the medium of anointing, to us, as we see in Acts 1, 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. As believers, we can do all things through the anointing, provided we are willing to surrender to the Lordship of the baptizer in the Holy Ghost. As you will see from the Bible reading for today, the anointing can destroy all forms of barriers to miracles, including the barrier of sin. When, in John 9, 2, the disciples asked Jesus whether it was the man he healed or his parents who had sinned, he said, neither of them did. This is surprising because, according to Romans 3, 23, all have sinned, and this is an eternal truth. What happened with the blind man, however, was that anointing had destroyed the barrier of sin that would have denied him his miracle. This is what the anointing can do. If we will do, if we will do greater works, we must seek anointing through the work of Jesus' atonement and press on to holy living. When we failed in our consecration to the Lord, and also lack anointing, we begin to find excuses as to why miracles are not happening. While it is true that sometimes the people we are praying for may not have faith and may not be living right, 
we cannot deny that Jesus healed many people who lacked faith. He did this by the power of the anointing. Beloved, whether it is you who wants a miracle or you want it for someone else, the key factor is anointing. Receive the anointing as you believe in Jesus' name. Prayer point. Father, please endow me with the anointing and use me as an extension of your hand to heal the sick and raise the dead in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible reading in one year. Numbers 19 to 20. Him for today. Take my life and let it be. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.